Speaking of, Canada became the second nation in the world to legalize marijuana for recreational use today behind Uruguay. And if you didn't know, Canada, our neighbor to the north, will be the closest legal area to smoke the plant form of marijuana today. But we have a few things to cough up, I mean clean up, about this story. <laughs> Before you pack up the party bus for a little road trip over the border, you might want to cool off that hot box. While marijuana is legal starting Wednesday in Canada, it's not yet an Amsterdam-like oasis for recreational weed. Different provinces have and are still making different rules. For instance, Calgary has banned smoking in public. In Ontario, you can only buy weed by mail order. And in all of British Columbia, only one store will be open this week. Don't bring it in, don't take it out. Also, marijuana is still illegal federally in the US, so driving it over the border or flying it back, even to a state where it's legal, like Colorado, Washington, or Cali, is still against the law. So what are they in for up there? How will this law change stuff in Canada? I mean, I was just driving down to work today, and there's a guy on the street corner in downtown Denver smoking a bowl right there. We tap someone who's seen this before. Investigative reporter Jeremy Hohola at our sister station KUSA in Denver. Marijuana here in Colorado is almost like an afterthought these days because we're just so used to it. Or because you smoke so much you forgot about it. Oh yeah, my short-term memory is just shot, you know. In fact, I had I had like three edibles today for breakfast. Kidding, of course. But the fact that we're even joking about it says something about the change in tone and stigma in this country around marijuana. I digress. Was it good or bad for the neighbors of Colorado? You know, that's a debate. Uh, I think the people who like marijuana, you know, who live next to Colorado, were like, oh, this is great. I could just drive over into Colorado, get my weed, and come back home. There are counties on the rim of Colorado, on the outside rim of Colorado and other states that have felt that they need to really come down hard on marijuana possession. There's a sheriff's office there in Nebraska that saw their jail population kind of uh, skyrocket because the sheriff's office was coming down hard on people on the other side of the Colorado border for marijuana possession, and of course they were getting it here in uh, Colorado. I would not be surprised if you hear stories of uh, white-collar people going into Canada, getting their weed, and coming back and getting busted. I, mean, I guarantee you that's probably going to happen. One more thing. The age to smoke in several U.S. states is 21, but the age in Canada ranges from 18 to 19. So if Canada spikes in spring break attendance, we now know why. They're pretty. Oh. A few, a few. Hold so on. So I'm coming. Sorry. One second. Sorry. Since legalization in 2014, Colorado had 1.5 billion dollars in sales last year. Right? It keeps growing every year. Canada expects to get four times that amount in four years. So by 2022. However, Colorado reports one in four adults, 18 to 25, the younger adults, they use the drug at least once in the last month, and one in eight do it every day or close to every day. So it's used a lot there. But I also read a stat that says that the amount of people has not grown that use the drug. Mm. This is from the state report. So it's not like actually making it legal has more people smoke it. That's interesting. People, a lot of people move there. We did stories about families mm -hmm. that moved there because of that so they could get treatment for their kids. There was a statistic too about Canada today. Mm. They did a poll of Canadians. 80% of Canadians said they have no interest in trying marijuana. Really? Yeah, so but, it might there, be the same case. But there was also a vast majority of Canadians that wanted to legalize it. Right, which is why it's a money maker. It. Well, maybe that was part of it too. Yeah, they're gonna make tons of, of money on it there. And it's that give or take. And you can see that uh, the nation, our nation at least, is leaning towards the, the, the liberal side of marijuana. Yeah. Well, from...